And joining me virtually now here in Lagos to discuss this disturbing situation is the Public Relation, Relations Officer of the Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria, Dr. Blosom Madufokwa. Good to have you join us, Dr. Blosom. Thank you so much for having me. So talk to us about um, the, the risk level of monkeypox, and that's in terms of its transmission and then its capacity to spread. Okay. So it's um, where we live in very interesting times. Monkeypox is an infection caused by monkeypox virus. The transmission, it's actually an illness found primarily in animals like rodents, like um, non-primates, like um, monkeys. So that, that's where you primarily have this infection. However, it can be transmitted from, the, from animals to man. That's what we call zoonotic infections. Now, how do humans um, get monkeypox as an illness? So if you, say, come in contact with an animal that has the infection, like a monkey or like a rodent that has the infection, you can get infected Another way you can get infected is, for example, if you come in contact with dead animals that have died of monkey pox, you can also get infected. Other ways to get infected, if you have a bite or a scratch from an animal that is infected, you can get infected. In addition, if you come in contact with a human that has been infected with the monkey pox virus, for example, if you're in the person's presence when they cough or sneeze, or if you touch fluids from the person's um, skin, from the person's body, you can get infected. Additionally, you can get infected if you come in contact with materials that have been touched by animals or individuals that have had monkeypox um, as an illness. So these are the ways that we can get uh, monkeypox as an illness. It's important to note that for human-to-human -human transmission, the humans have to have been in contact for a considerable amount of time. So it's not as easily transmissible as, say, like chickenpox or smallpox, which has been eradicated, but it is transmiss transmissible by human-to-human contact as well. Hmm. And what can people do generally in terms of prevention and also talk to us about the, um, the fatality rate uh, as well as um, treatment? Okay, so you, you raised some very um, important questions. So to speak about how we can protect ourselves. So one is information. So we need to be, first of all, or to be informed and to understand how the transmission actually happens. So like everything I've already said, first of all, avoid contact with um, sick, in, uh, sick animals. If you see an animal that is dead, you should report it, you shouldn't touch that animal. This is not the time to um, go ahead and start looking for bushmeat to prepare. Make sure that any kind of bushmeat or whatever that you eat is thoroughly cooked. Again, personal hygiene, we cannot overstress this. Frequent hand washing. When you cough, you cover your cough with your elbow because we know it can be trans transmitted through coughing and sneezing as well. So these are the ways that you can protect yourself. And again, if you observe that you or an individual that is in your space has developed some rashes that you can't explain, please go to your healthcare provider and report it. You need to get tested. And if you test positive for monkeypox, you should be isolated so that you protect others from transmission. All right, we'll see how um, government gets on top of this because I also know that there is a government role here and just generally um, stop, stop uh, the, the disease from, from spreading. We already have 21 cases. We'll continue to monitor the situation. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, Public Relations Officer, Association of Public Health Physicians of Nigeria, Dr. Blues of Madufokwa.
Thank you for having me.